Hi guys, welcome to the short video about uh, what you can do when your Google Chrome is very slow, especially when you open new tabs and sometimes also when you close new tabs can be extreme that you have to wait for half minute, almost one minute till you can do something and this is already my second video in the first one i've been explaining that plugins can play a huge role in slowing down google chrome and so it can help a lot to only activate the plugins or the extensions which you really need I have already done this and I have deactivated almost all the extensions and it worked absolutely awesome again. But after that I have started to activate all the ones which I really need and there are actually a lot and then the problems came back. So I was looking for another solution and if you are in the same situation of course then that's the video for you. So again in my situation it was not enough to just deactivate a couple of the extensions I would really have to deactivate almost all of them which is not really good I really need a lot of them and so I came to the second solution and that's to use Microsoft Edge I've never been a big fan of the Microsoft Internet Explorer as most other people too and so of course not many people are tempted to use Microsoft Edge browser but I think it's a really nice thing because it almost works exactly as Google Chrome and you can start pretty much where you left Chrome you can import everything here in the settings you can import your Chrome bookmarks you can import your Chrome passwords and you can even activate Google as a default search engine. As you can see, I've just entered a word here on top and now it's using Google search. Of course, when you are just using it in the standard, it will use the Microsoft Bing as a search engine, but you can really change that in a couple of seconds. And what's even more important is that you can use all your Chrome extensions. So we have them here. You can see I have imported or activated already almost all of them or at least the ones which I use on a daily base. Unfortunately, we cannot just export them from Chrome and then import uh, all of them at once. But we can go to the extension manager here on Chrome and then allow here extensions from other stores and when we are here we have access to the Google Chrome extensions as you can see here I have the ones from other sources and you can even get more actually as far as I know all of them which you had on Google Chrome and I've already tested most of them and they seem to really work exactly the same way as in Google Chrome. And so I've fully switched at the moment to Microsoft Edge. I'm working the whole day here on Edge and it looks really good. I mean, there are some small disadvantages. There is a little bit of a change regarding touch and feel, but it has also some advantages. So I would say it's about the same, but the speed, the speed overall, the responsiveness, everything uh, is, is much better. Speed is much higher. It's much faster than Google Chrome with all the extensions, with all the plugins here activated. So if you're a big fan of using such extensions, then I can highly recommend to use the Microsoft Edge. And yeah, that's already it for now. I hope being able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.